Hi guys, welcome back to the Gentleman's Bureau. This is episode 17. A um, series of events occurred, and uh, we do not have our guests on. We were supposed to have two guests. Um, one one bailed, one uh, just we couldn't get a hold of, so I guess they bailed as well. But we are persevering. We're going to push through this. And uh, it's right after Christmas, so I hope everyone had a great Christmas. I know I did. Um, Mark, you had a, a crazy Christmas, didn't you? You had a good, good little Christmas, and uh, Jed, oh, yeah. you had a good Christmas, I assume. I don't know. Um, it's a very chill Christmas, the chillness, yeah. if you will. Yeah. What'd you do, Jed? Um, well, I only had like two days off work, so I didn't really feel like going all the way back home for like a day and a half. And then, like, I'm going to my next work week tired, so I just stayed up here, just uh, sat on my couch playing video games, watching movies. Uh, Watch Die Hard because it's not Christmas if you don't watch Die Hard. It's the best Christmas yeah. movie ever, so you know, naturally. Uh, yeah, and then I, I uh, made the bad call of deciding to pull an all-nighter before going into work this morning at 5 o'clock. And now I'm paying for it because I'm, I'm very tired. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> but I got my monster, uh, and I'm good. There you go, man. Not sponsored. Yeah. Not sponsored. But, you know, hey, contact me. <laughs> Jen's always shooting for the stars. I like it. Yeah, hey, Elon Musk. Better than trying me. To, he's trying to get Elon Musk on here, people. So this is the guy. Hey, I emailed him for everything. Just, I'm just Jen's got plans, back. man. Me, I'm plans? just like, <laughs> I got a joke about a dog. Like, <laughs> we got that going on. Uh, <laughs> and Jen's like, yeah, space and shit. Mark, you had a good Christmas, yeah. Yeah, it's dude. I. Um, yeah, I, my, uh, well, you know, uh, Japanese people don't really celebrate Christmas, so I still have work, and, you know, everybody's kids are going to school, people are working. I mean, uh, not until, like, the 28th, everybody gets off, and then, like, New Year's is, like, this whole holiday thing over here for, like, uh, being with family and everything, not yeah. actually Christmas. But, uh, yeah, so Christmas... I went to work, uh, tons of people around and about and everything, uh, going on dates, because that's like the big thing everybody does on Christmas, it's like couples yeah. go on dates and shit. People getting engaged. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, people, oh Anytime. yeah, dude, everybody's like getting fucking engaged. It, we were at this um, restaurant Christmas Eve having dinner, and literally four people got engaged within two hours. Easy. <laughs> There's a lot of Marines, I think, engaging, like, proposing to hookers, uh, or strippers at least. But, you know, wait a minute. Kind of wait, the way they do like, things. Do you mean four people got engaged? Or, like, four couples got engaged? Four, four couples got engaged. Oh, that's oh, really important. Oh. Yeah. That's a lot. That's eight people total. Unless some people are into weird Oh, it's eight people total, now. Jed? I didn't know. I couldn't. The couples, I. The math. Hey, man, it might have been. It might have been like six, you know. Who knows? Maybe some guy proposed to two girls at once. Maybe saving time, you know. Pregnant. The odds are better that way. You might get it, might <laughs> yeah. one, not the other. If you get lucky, <laughs> you get both. Hey. <laughs> or maybe it's a midget, and then it's like a half. You, two, six, you know, half. So midget, and, huh? <laughs> what? Come on, you guys. <laughs> like I'm not the only guy that thinks midgets are half people. Dude, how dare you? They are full ass people, man. Shane's upset full? right now. Full ass people. Oh, this is why Shane won't be on, Mark, because you yeah, keep doing Mark. this shit. Fuck. <laughs> they're fucking people, man. No, I'm not saying they're not people. They're just. You just say they're half people. <laughs> you're saying they're not people. You're saying they're half people. You piece of shit. How could you? You're a half person. No. You're a half. That's what you need. People like me. You need to be able to point the finger and say that's the bad guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the world needs bad men. Yeah, I'm yeah. still trying to die the hero, guys. <laughs> but on a lighter note, yeah, my uh, my Christmas did go pretty well. Uh, my wife like cooked a whole spread, man. She had like sushi because Japan had like shrimp, like giant shrimp. Dude, which, I'm kind of a sucker for sushi, man. Like, e even if like I'm not even hungry. And I'm just walking through like a supermarket, and I see like boxed sh uh, sh um, sushi. I'm like, fuck! 
I gotta have it. Like, especially when I see, like, the spicy tiger. I'm like, oh, give me that shit. Like, I fucking love that shit. That sounds... Sounds pretty bad, actually. But pretty I get bad. what you're what saying. You Dude, sushi's uh, Because I know awesome. what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. It's like... It's that sushi that you get at, like, a store, right? It's that, like, convenient... God. Yeah, like Safeway. I don't know if you guys have been to Safeway. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just afraid that's that's going to get me, like, super sick if I eat that stuff. Oh, man. It's, but, in, like, it's in, like, the fresh produce. It's pretty yeah, fucking it's good, probably man. probably, like, a day old or something. I don't At know. It doesn't, it doesn't taste the fucking day old. Oh, I, can't, I don't know. That good shit. Right. They don't have a lot out, laying out. Yeah. So, like, it's it's made to for a day. Like, yeah. it's made for that day. Mm-hmm. Uh, like... Well, if I, I guess I'm pretty biased because I'm here, right? Yeah, and you're in fucking Japan, so obviously your standards. Yeah. It's like, yeah. That's like me, like, that's I mean, like going up to a homeless person eating McDonald's and he's like, holy shit, you can afford McDonald's? Oh, <laughs> like, it's just different, different, yeah. uh, yeah, it's aspects like of it. No, shit. but like, I, I get where Mark's coming from, though, because I've only ever had a single California roll. That is the extent of my sushi experience. And that was literally like forced into my mouth. My like, girlfriend was like, hey, Jet. And I was like, what? She just put it right in my fucking mouth. I was like, thanks. Appreciate you didn't that. Like it? I did not like it. I mean, I wasn't ready for it at all. It was a pretty fucking big California roll. So my whole mouth was fucking full. And her dad's across the table. So I'm like, try not to fucking be embarrassing, you know? Mm-hmm. It was just, uh, anyway. But uh, that was the first time I ate sushi, and it was the last time I ate sushi, because I didn't want to eat any sushi until I went to visit Mark, because, you know, here in the Midwest, I don't really trust sushi, you know? I don't blame you. You know what? I've, I've been like, to, like... Even if I go to, like, like there's really, really good restaurants here that my friends tell me, like, are super good sushi places, and I'm just like, nah, I don't eat sushi. So I you want to wait until you're, Japan. like, yeah. authentic... Like, I think you yeah. could. What you about could, if you, you could went, do all right? Like if you go to the big city, right, and go to like a nicer restaurant, you'll you'll be fine. Like I've done that, but yeah, honestly, like even if I, I want to get my I've, first I've experience, you know, four hundred dollars for like a whole night of a spread or whatever, right? And it was I mean, good, but it was also like I could get the same quality at a like Japanese convenience store, which is kind of sad. But, so like, uh, you know, you work with what you got. <laughs> if you went to, um, let's say, New York, right? And, like, because it's not, it's near water, right? It's not, like, yeah. it's not authentic Japanese. Like, I don't think the Japanese are known for their sushi. Like, I really don't think. Are they known for their sushi? Yes. But, Japan? Big time? J- Japan like invented everything. sushi, dude. Did Japan invent sushi? Yes. Am I yes. that stupid? I thought it was... Okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Dude. I <laughs> it knew was, it was uh, an Asian what? country. I just didn't know it was Japan. Yeah, Fucking like... Japan. As far yeah. as we can tell, um, historically, yeah, Japan started... Sushi started as, like, a vendor food in Japan. Um, Here's my question, though, Mark. For For somebody that's, you know... In Okinawa. Is Japs a slur? Oh, that's a, that's, you know, what's really messed up about that is, uh, I don't think so, because Japanese people will say Japs, but, uh, you know, the only people that have ever said that's a slur, or you're wrong, don't say that, is literally, like, anybody that's not Japanese. That Karen. is, like, like, seriously, like, Karens coming off the base, you know, like, Dependas. Be like, you can't do that. Dependas, I forgot about them. Jesus. God. Dependipotamuses will fucking come out, and they call me by my husband's rank. We both serve. And it's like, bitch, you serve all your time at the buffet eating fucking shrimp. Fuck yourself. And this fucking lard-ass bitch, like, I was like, I was talking to my fucking wife. For one, we're eating, like, six tables away from this stupid fat bitch, and... (sighs) 
oh my god, I didn't, it wasn't like I just yelled Japs throughout the whole fucking place. I was like, oh yeah, you know, the the Japs and their, uh, I think it was rice we were talking about. I was like, oh yeah, the Japs and their high quality rice. And uh, fuck, this bitch was like, you can't say that. And my wife was like, who the fuck are you? What authority do you have, you stupid cunt? Yeah. Like, it was ridiculous. Japanese people, though, they love to abbreviate everything. So I, so they they will, like, use it sometimes. Like, oh, that's a neat word. I can shorten Japanese for Jap. That's cool. Let's swerve back into our lane. And lane, <laughs> how was your Christmas, bro? <laughs> uh, it was good. Pretty good. Went to... Uh... You know, because we didn't have any friends and family here, so we were like, all right, what are we going to do for Christmas? Like, we don't have a tree. We don't have, like, you know, unfortunately, we don't have too many gifts because when you travel halfway across the world, it kind of costs a lot of money. So um, we were like, fuck it. Let's just have a day. Just just go snowboard. So we, because um, luckily we shipped our boards earlier. So um, went out to uh keystone um in the rock uh in the rockies and uh yeah i had a fucking great time had a fucking damn good time and uh yeah i called uh called a few people on my breaks you know said uh, merry christmas and uh, had pizza beer i think i spent like towards the end of the time i was just eating and getting drunk like <laughs> in the little village there so i was just I was having a good time, but oh, got yeah. her a new board. Cost fucking a lot of money, but she needed a new board anyways. So got her a new board and uh How did, okay, how does that work before we move on from that? Yeah. What is like why did she need a new board? Like do, do you outgrow a board? No, well, you can. Is it like yeah. shoes? Um it, typically when you're an adult you don't, but if you get a board, let's say junior high, high school, that that time and you get a little older you know you you might think you, you might want to upgrade and also if your board is just old and it's just it's got it like maybe around around the outside because there's metal there's a uh, little like steel on the outside that might be rusted um there could be chips dings stuff that's not worth repairing so um with her like but, different styles too yeah, exactly. And with and and that's what uh her issue was. So uh I, we've been snowboarding for the longest time and I've been with her for the 3 years coming on. Time. And um so she, I never really paid attention to how she boarded. I mean, I I understood I always had to wait for her cuz I was a little faster. But it, it like struck me when I tried to show her how to do something. Um I forget what I was showing her how to do. And just she was like, I thought you just put both your legs and you, you slide down like on your butt, right? Like, this. <sighs> what have you been doing? Why are you so fast? Right, like, why are you so... <laughs> yeah, so she stopped and she was just sitting on the ground, right? And I looked at her board and it was... Um, I noticed that it was a rocker board. It was... Uh, so you have two different types of boards. Well... There's more than two, but that's for, like, professional level, like, if you really want to be snot, snooty about it. So, in general, there's three different types. There's flat, so, you're, so your board is flat all the way that across. That has the, the tips, right? And then the tips, right. The tips are, uh, are cambered out. Then you, have, then you have camber, which is um, starting from the middle. It kind of it bows up, and then towards the end, it goes down. Touches con the contacts are on the ends. Okay, that's what touches the snow, mainly. All right, that's a camber, is when it goes out, and then it goes up. Like a and mustache. And a rocker, like a mustache, yes. And a rocker is the exact opposite. It's like a rocking horse. The contact is in the middle, and it goes up. And those are used for park or tricks, right? You don't really want to take those on the mountain. You can. Um. But you're going to be riding switch a lot. Switch is just, you know, you're riding goofy, then you're riding normal, then you're riding goofy. Like, you're going to switch it up a lot, which is also an indicator that I saw with what, with what she was doing when she went down the hill. So she was, so when she stopped, I, I noticed her board was bowed out, was bowed up like a, like a rocker board. So I was like, okay, that could be your fucking issue. Like, 
and also she would always ride switch she would always be you know switching around doing like 360s and shit and i'm like okay that's cool like why the fuck are you doing that like let's go down the hill um <laughs> and so yeah and so i like, like there's my we, wife again just doing circles <laughs> show off but uh <laughs> fucking you think you're cool I, yeah. you think you're cool do you? <laughs> you think you're fucking cool right? here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh so we got down to the end of the end of the lift or end of the, the, the run, and we were getting up on the lift, and I was like, hey, I want to see something real quick. So I dusted off her um, her board, and it, it sure as shit, it said rocker board. And I was like, that's your fucking issue. You're, you're riding a rocker when you should be riding a camber. So it's that's amazing. why. <laughs> and, and so that was one of the, the reasons. That was the main reason why we just said, fuck it, let's get her a new board. Let's see how she does on the next board. And she did a lot better on the... the uh, the next board that we got her the rocker board so yeah sweet you're gonna yeah. take me right when i come out yeah dude it's so close dude it was like an hour and 30 minutes from my house yeah and, and you're and you're at this yeah keystone's like one of the the known i i know about keystone and i don't yeah. even board and i'm yeah, in fucking man. you know wisconsin got, and i've heard about it <laughs> yeah it's so, so can exciting you snow like is there snow all year round this I know I probably sound like a complete re the mountains, bro. I, dude, I want to say you're not wrong because like there's gonna be caps, right? Like okay. at the top. So like obviously there's gonna be snow capped out at the top, but as far as like in the base in the valley, I don't actually know that to be honest. I'm in the same well, boat like, as you. I should look. Most that up. places use most people like create snow, so like yeah, you know, as long as it's like cool enough up there, they can just keep running. Yep. But, uh, I don't know what elevation we were at, um, but yeah, Denver itself is a high elevation uh, city. It's a mile. It's a mile high. Oh, 5,280 yeah, feet. Yeah. Oh, wait. So it's yeah. from there. You can only imagine. Get out to the Rockies. It's like, whoo. Hell yeah. So you might be right. There might be snow all the time. Uh, if that's the case, fuck yeah, because I'm going to just <laughs> – I do know their season, though. Really good. It, it runs from uh, – Fuck. When does it run? December. I want to say it runs December to April. Nine thousand feet, by the way. Like that's that. really good. Yeah. That, I don't dude, know if it's like... December. I think it's Whoa. before December, but yeah. Um, they're um, what's it called? A lot of good time. Yeah, and I and I think they so since COVID happened and shit, they like felt bad because they could only have a limited amount of people on the on the hill. So what they did is the people who had passes like season passes from last year <clears throat> basically they were like hey we're gonna give you guys discounted passes this year because you know only x amount of people and then you can't go so they only gave like a limited amount of passes this year and they only um they only gave it to the people who had passes the year previous so i wasn't able to get a pass but i found out that the passes are like 900 bucks which really isn't bad especially like being that close. Cause like we went, so yesterday we went for 170. And that's just with like passes. Cause you have your own gear, right? Yeah. I have my own gear and stuff. So when you come out, Jed though, how tall are you? Five ten. Okay. Too easy. I have a board for you with bindings and it's going to be good for you. And I have goggles and I got a helmet for you. Just bring like, Winter jacket, ski pants, or snowboard pants, and you're, you're Dude, fine. I don't know. I don't know if I have that kind of stuff. Of course, I don't have that shit. I live in Wisconsin. Yeah, I got pants and a, and a coat I can use. You might just have to get boots. I don't have that extra set of boots unless. What size do you wear? Uh, depends on the depends on shit because I'll go from nine to eleven depending on how wide the boot the stuff is. I haven't owned a winter jacket since I moved here. <laughs> um. Yeah, Jed, I have. I'm, I plan on getting new boots, so you can use my old ones if you don't um, get boots. But I, my, the boots I have now are like a, I wear eleven and a half, eleven. So, but those they size boots are like twelves. Yeah, I don't know, but um, yeah, that was that was my Christmas. Fucking Not bad, chilling though. on the mountain. Oh yeah, it was awesome. I had a. So time. were you drinking Keystone while on Keystone? Is that is that also what was going on? No. Fuck no. I was drinking Coors, man. Coors, Coors Banquet. Nice. That's like Colorado's beer, man. 
Really? Yeah, Colorado's beer. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, remember? Because it's got the Rockies. It's got the, on the Coors what, picture. The, or the Mountains Blue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the Rockies. Yeah, like that like that basketball team, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a, there's a, is it, the, is it a baseball team? I don't really don't know. I don't know. I don't. We have the Broncos football team and then the Nuggets basketball, right? And then I think baseball is the Rockies or something. I don't know. I don't really follow I, baseball. I am straight up downs whenever it comes to this. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, I shouldn't have done what I just did because yesterday, <laughs> dead ass. Yo, I love Colorado because I saw some guy with a, with he was like snowboarding, and I saw him. Uh, he was with his little group of buddies, and they were all sitting at the table. And he pulled like he didn't pull it out, but someone pulled out like just a bag of weed. They just started grinding it. And then they were passing it around, and he sure as shit just took it, and he was just like, "I was like, dude, I love Colorado." <laughs> and he so, he was like downs or whatever. He, yeah, Is that yeah. What you're saying? I think dude. so. I think he had downs. Dude, he was just okay. an Asian dude. Lane's fucked up. He's just, it was an Asian guy. <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely not. And I was just oh. I was like, fuck yeah, but I was also fucked up. I was pretty drunk. I got pretty toasted. I was yeah. fucking. Had, I had a great Christmas. <laughs> but, you know yeah before before we get off the down subject i saw a dude i was at the docks <laughs> grabbing fish there was a dude straight up downs with another like a big group of downs people really they're all down <laughs> by the dock <laughs> is that, is that were, what you say they were pulling they were all fish down like a motherfucker like they, they 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 had went out on a boat and i i have no idea how many fish they got but it was like oh fucking just whipping them out of the boat like it was nothing i was like this guy, he might only be good at one thing, but he's really good at that one thing. Isn't that that's what they that's uh, cool? <laughs> if you have downs, is that that's like you're pretty? They're pretty good at like one thing, right? Or is that um, you're thinking of autism, bro? Autism, yeah. yeah. Fuck. I and it's, I, the guy I Loopy, I'm not good like at anything. Term. He could have been autistic. He could have been anything. You know. It's a huge spectrum, dude. Yeah. It's like yeah. it's all kind of crazy stuff. Like, like, uh, man, where was my train of thought? Just lost it right there. Boom, gone. Woo. Wow, maybe uh, down. But no, like, there's like, oh, so there's, like <laughs> there's like, there's like a, there's like tests you can take online to see if like how you know if you're on the spectrum or not. Most people are somewhere on the spectrum. On the spectrum. Yeah. I'm definitely on the spectrum. I'm fucking on the spectrum, dude. <laughs> I'll have to see just how to be on that. Like, do it, and, and then like, you're like. This says I'm basically a corpse. I don't, I don't really know what's going <laughs> so, on. <laughs> I'm a three-year-old? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's very different, too. So, like, like Down syndrome versus, like, autism is, is very different, you know. Because Down yeah. syndrome is caused by, like, an extra chromosome. Whereas autism is literally, like, you know, it's like cancer. You know, there's like no definite cause. You know, it could be anything, it could be nothing. You know, unless you believe vaccines cause autism, just because everybody that has autism is vaccinated, which is actually false now because so many people have been not vaccinated. There's now statistics showing that just because you're not vaccinated doesn't mean you're immune to autism. It can still happen. It's ridiculous. But uh, all autism is is really just like being bad at living in a society. So like empathy, sympathy, like. The things that connect us as humans, that's the that's the, the problem with autism, you know? I feel like everyone's autistic then. I think, so yeah. That, that's why there's the spectrum, I see. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, some people can, like, not pick up on social cues, like, at all. Like, even after everybody tells them, they just can't, you know? So this is more so of, like, like, a sociology type of um, label, right? Or is, it's, I guess it's not just a label it's a yeah like actual a diagnosis yeah so i guess like the like if you want to like break it into categories so like down syndrome would be like a biological thing whereas autism is more of like a psychological thing mm. and if you think that the government's always watching you is that paranoia yes okay no <laughs> i think no, that's, i have that that's uh <laughs> i'm just kidding if, if you believe the government's always watching you that's just you know u.s is like right? <laughs> that's just uh, a true a true citizen of the united states <laughs> oh man 
Oh, actually, dude. you know, hey, look, it's still here. 1984. Hey. <laughs> still hanging around. You know, it would have been hey, dope. you guys want to know another book? Oh. Yeah, what? what? Oh, if you he brought up... pardoned Assange, that would have been dope of Trump. What? Yeah. Julian, Julian Assange? You know how, like, he pardoned, like, at least nine. I think it was, like, 15 people. Or some shit, he, he like, pardoned them, but... uh. I was he, waiting he was for like, him. yeah, just ask or whatever that was his thing. He's like, yeah. just ask, I'm pardoning people. I'm on my, possibly on his way out. I'm not going to definitely say anything because yeah. apparently you can't. I don't know. Most hey. 99% sure he's on his way out. And he's just guys, like, guys, doing everything, guys. right? Like as much as he can right now. Yeah. I mean, Assange would <clears throat> huge. Like, because that guy is actually, he's facing, um, Death. He's a journalist. Yeah, he, he all he did was, uh, yeah, he basically was. They cut. They got him on a rape of char- documents. Not, not even a rape charge. Which is basically he had consensual Condom. relation. This is how they got him. Okay, this isn't how. Um, he he was later than, because they were looking for a way to get him. Because they couldn't yeah. put him on the charges that they wanted him on. So what they did was they were like, there was these two girls that he had consensual relations with. And I guess the condom broke or something. So they used that as like a, a assault or rape or some some type of blown up charge. Then he was stuck in the UK um, in, in, a, in, a, in, in hiding. So they, uh, they had him at an Ecuadorian embassy. In the UK, in London, and everyone was like, "Dude, you don't need to be here." He asked for political asylum, which is basically like, it's basically like, "Hey, save me, uh, save me from extradition, whatever." And then eventually, I'm not exactly sure how they got him out of the embassy, but people were like, basically saying, "Come out, you don't need to be in there. Like, you're blowing this out of proportion. No one's after you. No one wants you." And then somehow they. There got, for like two years or something, right? Yeah, he was in there for the longest time. He grew a beard, like whatever. And uh he finally got out. Like he was dragged out. So I I need to look back into like why they dragged or how they got him out, but like he eventually got turned out and now he's like facing death because of uh the uh, espionage act or some shit, right? Mm-hmm. Um so for something he didn't really do. He didn't like, do uh, yeah. He he Basically, what happened was there was codes to um, information. So WikiLeaks, right? They basically post. They don't give up their source, but they post whatever, right? And uh, one of the users had the code. He put. Po- they posted the code to get into the um, the database of of, of sources and. Um, uh, like people's names, addresses, because when they release something and it's sensitive, they block it out, right? In yeah, redact we, everything. Yeah, they read like it's redacted. So, but someone had posted something with the codes on it, so they took the they could and they couldn't get that back, right? Once they posted it, so many people had already made copies and already took the file. It's out there, right? Monkey's out of the bag. And since he had the same codes for every single file, every single thing. They they were able to like I don't know if they hacked it or what but they like basically got everyone's information that were was on the unredacted forms and that's when the government was like oh fuck and then and 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 he even contacted the gov- the U S government and was like hey this is out um we need to do something about it and uh the government just basically was like eh. so what uh, like they didn't really take him seriously they were like all right. Like, sure, okay, like, good luck, Yeah. figure it out. And then, of course, when something, he even warned them, but then when something happened and everything got out, all the information, now they want to charge him for, it's like, less than motherfucker. He wasn't the person that actually leaked everything, yeah, and which he, is they, ridiculous. He's still, yeah, and he's not giving up sources. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. He's still not. So it's like, it's yeah. a, it's complicated. I'm kind of doing a shitty job uh, explaining no, it all. Honestly, but it, you're doing, you're doing a, like the best job we can do without like yeah basically without we're not journalists and we're not you know 
conspiracy We don't have any theories, clearances so and shit. I don't you have know. the inside scoop, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, right we don't right. have a guy on the inside. We, yeah, long the best story. Thing we got is Alex Jones. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Dude, if we could get if we could get him on here, fuck, that'd be awesome. You know what Even, I would like to do? Just get like Alex Jones and Lane's dad in a room together. And just see what happens. <laughs> they feed Bravo off each too. other. Eddie Bravo. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, you got to get like another flat place. earther in there, right? <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> otherwise my dad's just gonna feel attacked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh. <laughs> No, my my the point is like it. So Trump was doing all these pardons, right? But it would have been fucking awesome if he was like Julian Assange, you know, because Trump is all about fake media, right? He's all about the news is fake, this is fake, that's fake. Just be truthful, be a good reporter, be a good, you know. If he would have pardoned Assange, he, I mean, I don't know, he might still have time, but like that's a big dick move. For Trump, like just like a fuck you to the deep state on his way out, right? That would have been a huge, like one of his most notorious, like known for things. Because, yeah, that yeah. or he starts a war and then Biden takes over the next day. He's like, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Well, like if he starts it, I don't know how that works. If he starts, he starts it, it with China and he just is like, your problem now. Yeah. <laughs> Biden's well, gonna come out. He's like the Chinese government. Um, yeah. where am I? They're not bad people. Come on, man. They're not yeah. bad people. <laughs> it would be short lived. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like we're just gonna give them Taiwan and let them let them have yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think is gonna happen if he actually takes off? You think China's gonna be like, okay, we can take Taiwan now? If he do- if if they if they go, they they take Taiwan by force. I honestly, I think I'm gonna move. I. I think it would be really dangerous to live here because they would eventually take this island by force because it's literally my fucking neighbor. Taiwan yeah. number one. China, CCP zero. Yeah, so Taiwan is number one. Uh, CCP number zero. They suck. But, yeah, if... if Oh, it's, it's really scary because, like, you, you guys have seen the videos, right, where... The professor in China talks about how they have Joe Biden in their back pocket and all this crazy yeah. stuff. He didn't expressly say Joe Biden. He said people at the top. Okay. No. And, no. and then he, well, he said that, he but then he went on to say, and he made it an awkward, um, he said a certain powerful person or whatever. And then he, like, it got real quiet. And he's like, I don't need to say who, do I? And then they all laughed. Because they all fucking knew who it was, and it was Joe Biden. Okay, they, they, they were, were talking. <laughs> anyways, we're just speculating, and it's actually like fucking Nancy Pelosi. We just don't know. <laughs> it's yeah. a, oh, I, I, I a certain it. powerful person, and it's like he's talking about Joe Rogan. I don't know what the hell's going on. You <laughs> know, it's like China doesn't know doesn't know people, do they? He's like, we talked to the president. They all look like Tom Cruise, right? <laughs> like. <laughs> He's, he's just talking to some guy, some homeless dude. He's like, he looks like the president, right? All these white people look alike. No. Moving on, moving on, moving on. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah, like, the Chinese government came out, and they, they basically said that they, they have a lot of people in their back pocket. We won't even say it's the, you know, the guy at the top. If they decide that they're going to take Taiwan, finally, because they've said it for years, you know, and Taiwan's, Taiwan's a a great place, but it's also an island and it's has a very small population and they have a strong military, but China could just use the Zap Brannigan method where it's send wave after wave after wave of troops until you run out of bullets. Like yeah. that's just how it is. Well okay. they are practicing uh the CCP was practicing going uh like beachheading and shit. Yeah, they like they are specifically targeting Taiwan. They've they've made exact replicas of like Taiwanese beaches and stuff like that and how they would attack it. They've also done it with bases here in Japan, too. So, you know, now they're like someday they're going to be like making a replica of, you know, a base in California, you know, how to attack that. Oh, I'm sure they already. Yeah, Yeah. for sure. You know, we only hear so much, but 
yeah they're they, building uh, like besides like taking over land they're building their own land they're like sanding or whatever it's called uh, they're island building yeah island in the yeah yeah or i guess the uh, they call it the china sea uh filipinos call it you know the west sea or whatever so they yeah they they've built uh, yeah they've built some islands there and they basically just operate as giant military bases um apparently they fall apart too like they got to constantly be adding uh sand and stuff like that but yeah. either way either way yeah so scenario maybe china attacks taiwan they take it and if they do you know america has the obligation to possibly intervene with being totally you know correct on their behalf and um all of those cool things you know they they we recognize taiwan well japan doesn't recognize taiwan but america recognizes taiwan as its own country the who you know? doesn't even the who doesn't that's well that's because china is uh, very influential with uh, their pockets let's just say <laughs> and uh so if america doesn't attack because you know captain's asleep at the wheel and uh yeah i i would be really afraid to be here actually because and this this is also a thing so whenever the philippines and china were getting into this big blow about china occupying the sea where the Filipino Sea, basically, where it was uh, open water for everybody in that area to go fishing. And it was like, you know, uh, I guess it'd be considered international waters, you know. Nobody actually owned it. It was a good time. It was great for everybody out there. Yeah, all for the China taking. showed up, and the Philippines showed up, and they basically had a fighting, like, arguing match. America showed up and said, okay, everybody separate. Philippines were like, okay, we're going to go. And China was like, okay, we'll go. And then didn't leave no, after yeah. everybody else did. And then America didn't do anything about it. Yeah. So everybody's like, okay, America's not going to help us. So all those countries in that region, like the Philippines, started going closer to the Chinese Communist Party. Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, all all that whole region, right? We're like, okay, we just, I guess we got to buddy up with China so they don't invade us because it looks like America's going back on all these, you know, policies that we have, you know, right. more or less. I mean, look right now, we haven't done anything. I don't know, probably because it's Putin, but literally China went into Putin and was like, we're just going to build here. We're going to build a little military base here. Didn't didn't ask for it. Didn't uh, didn't do it on the border. They, they literally marched into Putin. And started doing it, or yeah, Burma, or whatever that country is. God damn it, I can't remember off the top of my head. But you know, and and we're not stopping them. That's why a lot of people are like, "Well, is Taiwan going to survive?" Like that was during Obama, though, right? What the the Putin thing? I think that Bur just happened. Burma thing that just happened. I want to. Okay. Yeah, my, yeah, my wife. Something similar me. happened to in during Obama and. He didn't do shit. I think that's the Filipino thing. That might be. Yeah, I don't know. So, they're doing it all over. So there's, I mean, shit. There's yeah, only, exactly. What, and what ones do we know about and which ones don't we know about, right? Mm -hmm. Like they could, like a country could be like, yeah, we're, we're good with China. But they were actually just invaded. And then China's like, you either, you know, play the game or you get kicked off the board. And yep. they're like, we we rather just say we're with you. And it's 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 extremely yeah, it's extremely dangerous. Mm -hmm. And it's a tough game. That's why that's why I was like, if if Taiwan gets taken without any American interference, inter interference, for sure, China is going to be like, well, you know that you know Okinawa was also China's and. And, uh, you know, Japan yeah. as a whole, we're, we're basically, you know, what, we're just going to take all of that, too. And eventually there's yeah, going to be but... boots on the ground. And uh, it's like, dude, I'm no, like, if America's not going to do anything. Yeah. Whenever well, you're the big dog on the block, you've got to step up. 
you know. Sure. Exactly. So and you let that, one happen, two, three, four is going to happen. They think yep. they can get away with it for, for forever. But. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, and so anyways, think, and uh, anyways, uh, besides that. Jed, what were you going to say? <laughs> Go ahead, Jed. Dead air chicken. Who's going to break? Anyways, so. Uh, <laughs> oh, lane broke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck him. I don't care. Anyway, I gave him, I gave him like 10 seconds. Anyways, fucking, um, so like. I don't think you have too much to worry about as long as there's a base in, in uh, where you're at. You know what I mean? Because if if China decides to do that, you you think they're just gonna we're just gonna give up our base? You know what I mean? Because like we have bases in Japan, it's like the same thing. Just because they're invading an island doesn't make it not Japan. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. technically still an invasion of of a country. You know, mm-hmm. just because it's an island, yeah. obviously, but it's yeah. Anyways, Jed. It's uh, it's also important to note. Um, so we recognize that Taiwan is independent and that it's its own thing, but we don't count them as one of our allies exactly. Not the way that we do with Japan. You know, Japan is like one of our strongest allies right now. Um, so minimum, like absolute minimum response to you know China taking Taiwan would be. An increased number of troops being stationed at Okinawa. Like even if even if war was like the last thing on everybody's mind between like you know China, CCP, and the uh, U.S. government, even if like they're working together to be like we're definitely not going to have a war, the U.S. would still 100% put some more troops in Okinawa as soon as they took Taiwan. Yeah, just you know to make sure people think we're ready, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, but still, I, yeah. you should move back because then we could actually hang out again. Uh, yeah, we could get uh, one big this. table, the gentleman's okay. bureau table, right? And yeah. we could just have our own studio Hawaii. in Hawaii. Also, That's what like, we're doing. Uh, yeah, we already decided Hawaii. In Hawaii. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, I was just talking to one of my friends from college. I was like, "Hey, you want to be on the podcast?" And she was like, "But I'm not a gentleman." And I'm like, "But you don't have to be." She's like, you "It's preferred." And I'm like. Not, I mean, kind of, yeah, but like, not really. A gentleman some... will always allow a fair lady on the podcast. No, I'm just <laughs> no like, no, yeah, we, just, we could, we could use some gender diversity here, you know, get some difference of opinion. Okay, Jed, this ain't no fucking. <laughs> I agree, I agree. I'm just fucking too. <laughs> no, I, you know, ladies can always have a seat at our table. Or on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was I was also gonna go there, but uh, I did not. <laughs> you I mean, mean I'll just... go there as long as I go there before you guys. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> I just don't want to be the last guy there, you know. <laughs> so, in preparation for this episode, because you know it's Christmas, there isn't like too much going on. We thought we should get some extra content to to pad out the um the episode here. So Mark took to Reddit. And found some some you know some questions that we can bring up and then and then you know bounce off of. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it up on the screen, but I'm gonna read it for you too. First question: Should I tell my friend that their not safe for work pictures might have been leaked? I was browsing through the NSFW side of Reddit. I was scrolling and scrolling, then a picture caught my attention. It looked very similar to my friend. The picture was a bit grainy, so I was not 100% certain that it's them. But after comparing the picture with other pictures that they posted on social media, I am 90% sure it is them. A lot of people do post their nudes in Reddit, but this is not that case. The account that posted the picture is one of those ones that's just gathering pictures from somewhere else and then posting them on Reddit. So it's certain that my friend did not do this on purpose. It's been bugging me for a while. Should I tell him about this? And if so, how? Good so question. the person was maybe hacked. Maybe I, th- my initial re- uh, idea was that they s- had sent it to somebody, and then like after the the relationship fizzled out, they were like, "Fuck to Put this in a folder, send it to a buddy, and yeah. then it just kind of leaks out, you know. Right. Once it's out, man, it's yeah. out. I'm sure people do that. A picture of my my junk time. somewhere out there in the ether. Oh. 
Well, I, guess. I hope I hope you did it like classy. You know, put a little hat on it, dude. Everything. I always <laughs> follow the rules of Blue Mountain State. Like no joke. If you guys have watched Blue Mountain State, it's been a no, long so. time, dude. Oh, you go back and watch the Blue Mountain State. It's all about like, you know, stereotypical college football frat. You know, and like nice. Thad Castle, man. Thad Castle, the chattiest chat of all chats. He's so oh. chat. His name is Thad, bro. <laughs> he gave like there's like a whole episode about dick pics, and he broke it down, man. Only the shaft, no balls, nothing to reference size, always almost all the way erect. Not all the way erect. Got to leave something, you know, something to surprise him still. But almost all the way, and no reference sizing stuff in there. Only like just just that, nothing else. Classic. Makes for great pictures. <laughs> That's great. And you do some. Do some pre-flexing to get the veins to pop out before you take the picture. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, All right. Uh, so this guy's think, got good advice. I think this person, <laughs> if they were a good, it seems like they're good friends because they know they've seen this person before. Like they can obviously identify. Yeah. Hey, this looks like the. I think you should tell them. Just be be cool yeah. about it. Like be like, dude, I kind of have to talk to you about something. It's kind of crazy. Like. Just bring it up nonchalant. That's what I would do. I wouldn't do it in front of people. Like I'd be like, "Yo, dude, check this out. Like, does this look like?" Nah, dude. Get that shit at the family reunion. Like, yo, Brittany, is this your titties? <laughs> oh lord. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's that's probably what my family would do. They'd be like, "Hey, I found this really weird video online. Check it out." It's yeah. blatantly their face and their butt. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. Is that you? <laughs> like. I mean, you're holding up your driver's license here in this photo, this video, but I don't even. I mean, <laughs> is that your social security card? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, my family would roast each other for days on this, but my friend, like, if if I was in that person's situation, like, I would want somebody to tell me, obviously, right? Like, I don't right. want my nudes just out there in the the world. And then at the same time, like, I would I would strongly want to tell my friend to be like, dude, oh, my God, I, I've i seen you, all of you, and we need to talk about it. Are you okay <laughs> with this? Like, did you do this? Or, it's like, what's going on here? But then, yeah. like, at the same time, what do you do? Like, oh, yeah, now you know your, your shit's out there. But, like, what are you going to do? Contact them and be like, hey, can you take that down? That's my – that's a picture of me that I didn't – want on public and like they're not going to do it like even if they do it's still somewhere you know yeah well you would try to attack like every source that you could you know but it'd be it'd be pretty hard i think but you could you could at least get like a, a handful of them down right yeah but the internet lives on forever and right. forever that's why you got to worry about those things uh and then you got those websites that let you like backdate the website so you can go back to like like that website in 2012. Really? When that, when that picture was still... Yeah, you can do this with Facebook too, by the way. You can go back to like fa- like original Facebook. It's what if they took it down? Changed. What if they took a video down? Like, be, like, can you still watch the video on Facebook? Like say, oh, say yeah, someone so posts a video. Theoretically. Like, yeah, theoretically someone posts a video. Um, it's worthy or unworthy. You never know anymore of being taken down. It gets taken down. A week passes. You want to go back to see it. Can you do that? Um, it would depend on how long it was up, you know, because it's not it's not backlogging, you know, back, you know, saving these backdrafts every second, you know. I think it's like once a week or like once a day maybe. It's like backing up these, these different websites. So, like, uh, you know, a lot of times um, what's, what's, what's weird about it, though, too, is so, like, if you – share a video usually you're actually sharing a link right Mm -hmm. so if you shared a video for in like 2012 and you wanted to go back and watch that if you went there and the site that it was on took it down because that link that you have for that video is still the same link to the same website that's like now you know it doesn't doesn't you can't go into the i think it's called the wayback machine i want to say like waybackmachine.com or something like that i'm not sure but uh I just want that out of my ass. I don't know. But yeah, so like it takes you back to that website, but the links still operate on like modern internet time, right? Right. So if the video is taken down currently, 
and you take that link, it won't go. But like if Facebook just like removed it and it was backed up with the video, you should technically still be able to go to that post, click the link to go watch it on the other site. Or with yeah, it's called the Wayback video Machine. Player. Wayback Machine. Thank you. I knew I wasn't talking shit. Yeah. I see I know stuff. I know things. <laughs> I've been to places. <laughs> I Weird. swear to God. So what would you do, Mark? Or Jed? Uh, uh, Jed do you really uh, didn't answer that? <laughs> if, yeah, I mean, well, I would definitely... My, like, okay, so it's maybe my best friend. I'm going to take him out to a beer or two or six and then break the news whenever they got, like, a solid buzz on. Mm. If it's like a close friend, uh, but maybe not my best friend or something like that, uh, coffee. Do a do a coffee and pull up yeah. like what I found and be like, is this you? Like, if it's not, then you know that'd be wonderful. I'm gonna convince it, my my best friend. I'm gonna convince it that it is him, even if it isn't. And be like, man, we gotta we gotta take care of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean maybe and it depends on like who the person is because like there's two different variables you have to look at in that situation like because number one you're getting them inebriated so like you got to understand how they react to bad news when they're inebriated number two you got to understand like are is this the type of person that would send a lot to the point where they don't even remember how who or how many or when
Next one. My boyfriend, 25 male, came to my family's home for Christmas, got too drunk, and broke an expensive sculpture, is now offering me, 23 female, money to take the blame. Hi all, I'm in desperate need of some guidance. My boyfriend came home with me for Christmas. It was his first time meeting my family. We've been dating for 10 months. Last night at dinner, he got pretty drunk, more intoxicated than usual. I suspect because he was nervous about being with my family. Later that night, when the rest of my family was sleeping, I was showing him around the house, and he picked up a glass sculpture in my dad's office that I know is both expensive and meaningful to my dad. Made some silly joke about it, but then it slipped and shattered. The dad, We pinned it up, and no one has noticed yet, but I know it's just a matter of time. My boyfriend has offered me money to take the blame for it. He also keeps talking about it, just between us, like it was both of our faults when it was 100% him. <laughs> Part of me is really annoyed and frustrated that he can't own up to his mistake, especially because he was drunk and being kind of inconsiderate, but I also understand that it's my family and they will forgive me more easily. Thanks for reading, and please let me know your thoughts ASAP. Oh, I'm worried Dad could realize it's gone any moment. So here's what you do. Oh, shit. You just uh, go get another one, and he'll never notice. What if it's like a limited edition, like yeah. fucking Mark Cuban gave it to him in passing at a board meeting or some crazy shit, like signed it. Uh, fucking, you don't know what it is. There's a lot of variables that I don't know about that, like... But there's also a lot of... Um, it's literally a crystal skull. <laughs> yeah, like there's a lot yeah, of yeah. the actual ones, you know? Yeah, exactly. He's really fucked know. up. How much money is he offering? That's what I want to know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? It just said money, right? It didn't say like yeah, he didn't... Money. Yeah, money. Well, and, and we don't know what the item really is, so it's She like, might so care it's... about him, though, you know? It's her boyfriend, it's the holiday, she actually brought him to see her family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 10 That's months rough. and yeah. bring it to Christmas. I would, if I was her... I would take the money if I was her. Only because, and here's here's the big one, he was drunk. Now, if this guy really, um, and there's a lot of variables, but super nervous about drunk. meeting her family. Yes, first time meeting so family. It's her dad's item, so it's like you know the father-in-law and the son-in-law yeah, that kind of relationship. The boyfriend have that, yeah. The, you need to have a good bond, right? So it's like yeah. that kind of, oh, starting right off the bat. I don't know if they've had any communication beforehand, but it's like, you know, you want to have that like chill bond. So it's like my big thing is I would take it. If I was her, I would take the money due to those factors. Yeah. Mainly the drunk factor. But what she needs to watch out for in the future is him not doing this again and again. Now, this is a special circumstance where I can see – and, and and maybe if when her dad cools down from her breaking the news that she did it, right, then maybe later on it could be at some other Christmas way down the road if he is still along or even if he isn't even in the picture, she can break the news and it'll it'll be a joke. It'll like be something that they can laugh at. Like, yeah, you remember that time? Yeah, it was actually him. Like, and it, depending on the bond, it could make or break that relationship still but i would say if so i was her for now have her. yeah yeah definitely. so personally uh i wouldn't take the money <laughs> i'd take the blame but i wouldn't take the money dude like i'm just gonna like well yeah. that's what i meant yeah yeah sure you fucking greedy son of a bitch <laughs> well, i know maybe, maybe she work. gets rid of the guy she's down you know she could have had some money maybe double whatever he's offering like Triple that. Be like, okay, you're going to actually have to offer. At least he offered. At least he offered. <laughs> Take the money and then pin it on him anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that was that that it was so him. Amazing. And then break up with him right there. Yeah, she I just never loved to watch you anyway. out that he's not a manipulator, right? Because it, it was right. saying, it, it was it was said that uh, he keeps talking about it like it's it was my fault as well. So, like, if he's saying yeah, that right now, so that is a red flag. And yeah. he's willing to just pay for things. Like, sometimes you got to own up. So that's why I was saying, like, ah, I would take it. But be wary. Watch out for these repeating actions if they do repeat. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to back it up a step. And I'm going to, I'm gonna, like, so right now we're in her shoes. 
talking about like taking the blame for this guy. I'm going to back it up. I'm going to put myself in his shoes. I wouldn't be offering my girlfriend money. I would just like go to the dad and be like, hey, man, I'm kind of drunk because I was nervous about meeting y'all today, today for Christmas. And when we were looking in your office, I might have touched something I shouldn't have. I'm willing to cover the cost of it, and I express my deepest apologies. And then I'd puke all over him. <laughs> yes, get even drunker to do it. Yeah, that yeah. Would be right, right. Like, you have to get, you know, if, if you're a little bit tipsy and you break something, that's like, oh, come on, dude, what the fuck? But if you're, like, plastered, they're like, well, yeah, we've all been there. Get that $5,000 <laughs> to me whenever you can. What? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. I don't know how much the sculpture you're was. Then you to him, thing. right? Because it's like, yeah. you just... Well, and then you, you break up have... with your girlfriend, but you're still making payments to the dad? Like, fuck. Right. Yeah, he can't expect money if you're not dating his daughter anymore. See? Yeah, maybe, maybe the relationship's rocky. Maybe he doesn't want to risk being in debt and, and, and sticking in the relationship just because of that item. You know? Right, yeah. Yeah. But then you have that sh- super Chad dad that, like, you know, they stay together for the money. You know, through some rough patches, they want to break up, but they're like, well, we can't break up because we have, I owe your dad so much money. And then they get through the rough patches, and they get married, and then the wedding gift dad's like, hey, man, gives it the new one to him, like, you earned this. <laughs> He's like, oh, thanks, dude, I really wanted this collab sculpture. And then you just sit there, and you're holding it, and you're just like, fuck this, and you just throw it. <laughs> Break it, be like, oh, ah. <laughs> like, oh, like, get ah, all into yeah. it. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, uh, give it back and be like, now it's your turn to break it. Nah, so, he just he just clears the he just clears the debt. He's like, all right, now that you're married, just that's that's the wedding gift. Clear the debt out. And then he's yes. like, and then you're just like, well, I'm gonna I get a divorce. You a hundred dollars <laughs> more. What the fuck? <laughs> I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna get a divorce now. That was the whole point of. Like, I really had to pay this off. <laughs> Shit! What, why? Why were we engaged for six years? Damn it! <laughs> he gets. He gets doubly. Uh, so he gets hammered. He breaks up with his girlfriend before she's able to break the news to anybody. Runs out of the house. Gets plastic surgery. Moves to Mexico. <laughs> changes his name. Same. Spends more on the surgery than what the items were. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. This guy, this guy, this guy, the sky's the limit with what he could do with this, you know. <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. So we've got it solved, right? Yeah, Boom, solved. Solved. <laughs> don't yeah. don't go out. Basic. <laughs> I'm just saying. Have a blast. <laughs> yeah, got you. Got you. But for her, option, man. so for him, we've, we've solved all the options for him. But for her, what, what option do you think is the best for her? Uh, yeah, just uh, take the blame. Take the blame, see how it goes. Monitor. Because if he's saying it sober after, after the fact, which I'm assuming that's how it was, unless it was that same night. It wasn't he was clear. drunk and saying it. Yeah, it wasn't clear. Um, I would still just monitor it. I get why he's doing it because that's like that's like me going over to Mark's and instead of instead of uh, asking my parents if I could stay the night, I'm gonna have Mark or <laughs> like Mark's parents ask my parents if they could, if I could stay the night. You know what I mean? Dude, you know how kids better, do man. that? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. It always works better. Ask my mom if you can spend the night. Yeah, ask if my I mom. Just say no. Yeah, she'll say no. You gotta give her the give it the puppy face. That's right. So it's like there's favorable interests that are at play. Different, difficult uh, situation for sure. But for sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, more no, of the story. So if you're in your uh, potential father-in-law's office, don't touch shit. No. Yeah, that's true. When you're drunk, hands in pockets. Ooh, that's when you're drunk, just fucking don't even go in, right? Open the door, take a gaze. He was playing with the thing, making jokes and shit. Like, right, yeah. Oh, like, he was uh, dumb. <laughs> recipe dumbo. for disaster, man. Yeah. yeah. What a dumbo. So, what? obviously, the whole family's there. You got some little cousins, right? Have them run through your dad's office. And like, oh, look what these five-year-olds did. Ah, oh, damn kids. <laughs> <laughs> these fucking kids. Better yet, go buy a bull. 
go find a bowl, man. Just bring a fucking full size bowl into the office. Like, I don't know how this bowl got in here, but he broke your glass thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do now. There's a bull in your office. <laughs> Some bull. A goose <laughs> flew in from the window. <laughs> yeah, a goose. No. A goose. He was hissing at me. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was the Gentleman's Bureau, episode 17. I hope you liked it. Um, for those who have not yet subscribed or liked, write down there below. Like and subscribe. Also comment. We want to hear feedback. Absolutely. Good, bad. Doesn't matter. Um, unfortunately, we did, didn't have our guests on today, but next episode, we're going to have guests on. And, keep uh, emailing good. those questions, too, right? Yeah, keep emailing those questions. Actually, we had a question come in that I would like to address from Thomas. Uh, we went to school with him. Jed, well, let me pull it up. Which, which which Thomas? There was a few Thomases. Samuel. Samuels? Oh, dude. Isn't his like wife pregnant right now? I congratulations to Thomas Samuels. I know if she is. If, if she is, congrats, Tom. Let me go here to the, I believe it was this one here. Hope your child is a masculine one. Okay, Thomas says, fantastic show. Have you thought about putting it on Spotify? So, have we thought about it? We've yeah. thought about it. We just don't know because we have so much, so many audio problems. Yeah. Like, are, would we be able to like strip a whole like um, uh, just audio file out of our recordings? Like, is that possible? Like, as the editor, you'd know best if we can. I could if we so. Um, <clears throat> when we first started recording, we ran into this issue. Um, spot, it, it's very spotty. We would lose audio left and right. And uh, so the way to get around that seemed to be, at the time, um, taking chunks of our videos, right? So I would record a little. As you, as you see, we record some, we stop. We record the next bit, then we stop. And so... Um, we're going to try to do just eventually I'm going to talk to these guys actually after the show about just doing a regular full time. That way, if I do need to record audio segments, then I can do that. So I think in the near future, we can find ourselves putting up episodes. Just I don't know if we're going to be able to go back into the archives and go to what has already been posted and post those to Spotify. Well, for the for the older episodes, we could literally just like I could do it in you know well I'm just you know boiling at home on my days off I could just put the episode on my laptop on like my computer, and then just start OBS recording the audio, right? And then I, I would just I would just export it as an MP3, or maybe maybe an MP4, and then we would right. just have you know an audio file with the whole podcast finished. So I could look into doing that. Um, All right. Uh, well, we still have some episodes that we have audio loss in. That's that's the only shtick. Right. Um, yeah, I'd probably go to the first one where we didn't have any audio loss. Yeah. So we're not no. gonna hold out for ten years and then, no. then exclusively go Spotify. I don't think we're gonna Joe Rogan it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, we're gonna Too diversify bad. immediately. Put everything everywhere. No. <laughs> I'd like to do it. I would love to do that. Um, if we could, we'll figure it out for I guess yeah. to answer yeah. your question, Thomas. And I got a buddy yeah. that does Spotify <laughs> podcast who I'm trying to get on soon, and I'll talk to him about how he does it and stuff. Okay. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. So once again, episode 17, hope you guys liked it. I uh, had a blast guys. Also happy holidays. Um, happy hope you holidays. guys are having a great, had a great Christmas and are looking forward to the new year. It is almost 2021. It's fucking crazy. Cause I remember when 2020 came and I was like, Whoa, 2020. Crazy. Yeah, it started off bad. Like, we went into 2020, like, what the fuck is going on? We're like, World War III is going to pop out. Australia's on fire. Yeah. And it just went downhill from there, bro, like crazy. Dude, but it anyway. wasn't even over. Christmas Day, a bomb went off in Nashville. Yeah, we didn't talk about that. We'll yeah. get to it hey, next, next time. Next we'll talk about that next time. We'll talk about that tomorrow, for sure. Because Yeah, for sure, for sure. There's still stuff coming out. Anyway, like Lane right. said, though, make sure you fucking subscribe. Like, I don't know if we could put the graph up of, like, who watches our videos and who's not subscribed, but, like, there are people that watch these videos and aren't subscribed. So fucking subscribe. It really helps us out. Oh, and don't forget to hit the like button because, you know, YouTube loves its algorithms, and those like buttons make sure yeah. people see our fucking videos. The more people see our videos, well, the more videos we're going to do, okay? That's Which true. Which more videos for you to watch. You're welcome, by the way. Absolutely. Just, you know, right now, this is free entertainment that we're providing for you in these troubling times. You're welcome. 
Let us know how thankful you are down in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let's yes. start a conversation. You know, talk to us. Oh, please. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, like you said, like and subscribe. And uh, do it. for those of you who are subscribed, thank you. And we appreciate it. We do this for you. We're we trying to you. provide you guys with great content. And uh, yeah. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Tschüssi.